Welcome to the UC presentation on exploring campuses. There are nine undergraduate universities and one graduate university in the UC system. Today we will look at the nine undergraduate campuses starting in the northern part of the state and working our way to the south. First, let's take a look at UC Davis. UC Davis is located in the city of Davis, which is known as a friendly college town that cares about sustainability of the environment and is very welcoming to newcomers. UC Davis is within a two-hour driving distance of San Francisco, Lake Tahoe, Napa Valley, and Silicon Valley. The Aggie Pack is the largest organized student spirit group in the country. UC Davis is tied with two other schools, Berkeley and Penn State, as the research university that is the top producer of U.S. Fulbright Scholars for 2012-13. Here's a look at UC Davis's admission statistics for the fall 2014 incoming class. The ranges that they use represent the middle 50% of scores. The average GPA is 3.95 to 4.24, and the average ACT is 27 to 32. SAT averages range between 1810 and 2120. UC Davis is offering a few new majors, Global Disease Biology, Marine and Coastal Science, Mathematical Analytics and Operations, and Sustainable Environmental Design. To find out more about UC Davis, sign up for their e-newsletter. Now let's take a look at the first of the UC campuses at Berkeley. Cal, as it is commonly called, is located in a college town that has a very unique and vibrant community. A half an hour east of San Francisco, there's lots of public transportation available. If you visit campus, make sure to check out the library, which has a reading room that looks like you're in Harry Potter's Hogwarts. 22 faculty and 29 alumni from Berkeley have won Nobel Prize awards. Each year, over 10,000 UC Berkeley undergrads engage in off-campus public service projects. And historically, UC Berkeley has produced more Peace Corps volunteers than any other university. When you visit Berkeley, make sure to stop at Telegraph for great food and even better people watching. If you look at this chart of freshman admit rates, you will see that the trend is showing a decrease in admissions over the last five to six years. This past year, Berkeley was only able to admit 18% of students who applied as they had over 73,700 applications. The average GPA of admitted students was a 3.89 unweighted and 4.39 weighted uncapped GPA. Mean SAT scores were 1940 to 2072 and ACT was 29 to 34. UC Berkeley was able to admit 18.9% of California residents who applied. There are a couple new majors for next year at Berkeley. In the College of Chemistry, there is a materials chemistry concentration, and in the College of Engineering, they're launching a new Institute for Design Innovation. Go Bears! The newest of the UC campuses, UC Merced, is located at the base of Yosemite. The campus was built with a focus on green technology. All of the facilities are new. The dorms are new, the dining halls are new, the classrooms, the chairs, everything is new. The campus has a very clean and fresh feel to it. There's also lots of opportunity for innovative programs. Merced leads the UC system in the percentage of students from underrepresented ethnic groups, low-income families, and families whose parents did not attend college. They have an interdisciplinary learning model, diversity, and a sustainability that are the hallmarks of the UC Merced experience. With a population of 6,200 students, they currently have schools of engineering, natural sciences, social sciences, humanities, and the arts. Over 15,000 students applied and 9,780 were admitted for an admit rate of 64%, the highest in the UC system. The average GPA ranged from 3.35 to 3.87, and SAT ranged from 1450 to 1850. ACT ranged from 20 to 27. There are continuing new additions to campus, including Pathways to Innovation Program, the Spatial Analysis and Research Program, the Undergraduate Student Training and Academic Research Program, and a new classroom and office building coming in 2016. If you're interested in finding out more about UC Merced, please visit their website and schedule a tour. Now let's head over to the coast to visit UC Santa Cruz. This campus is located in the Santa Cruz Mountains and surrounded by redwoods, hiking and biking trails, and ocean views. The school mascot is the banana slug, which is a slug that's commonly found on the redwood forest floor. It's been named one of the 10 best basketball mascots by ESPN. The UC Santa Cruz slogan is the original authority on questioning authority. 
UC Santa Cruz's undergraduate linguistics program has been ranked number one in North America in previous years. They also have an exceptional astronomy program. Not typical at large public universities, UC Santa Cruz has 72% of upper division and 58% of lower division classes with fewer than 30 students. For fall 2014, the average GPA was a 3.82. 35% of students had a 4.0 or higher, 50% of students were between a 3.5 and a 3.99, and 14% of students had a 3.49 or lower. Due to over-enrollment in the last few years, UC Santa Cruz will increase their selectivity for fall 2015 and enroll 400 fewer freshmen. If you're interested in learning more about UC Santa Cruz, you can check out their new virtual tour online. You can also sign up for the Slug Connection or visit campus for a group tour. UC Santa Cruz will host their preview day on October 25th. Next, we're going to head down the central coast to UC Santa Barbara. A beautiful palm tree lined campus located right next to the beach, there are seven miles of bikeways on or adjacent to campus used by an estimated 14,000 cyclists daily. Isla Vista is the hub of social life for students at UC Santa Barbara. It's a great community with lots of restaurants and hangout spots. UCSB just built a brand new marine science lab and they're renovating the library. There is an 86% four-year success and progress rate, which means that 86% of students graduated or were still enrolled four years later. UC Santa Barbara is ranked number 11 among all public universities in the country according to US News & World Report. For fall 2014, UC Santa Barbara had over 66,800 applicants and were able to admit 24,000 of them for an admit rate of 31.7%. The average GPA was a 4.15 and average ACT was a 29. For SAT scores, the averages for each individual section of the application were around 600. UC Santa Barbara has a very active student life. The rec center includes a climbing wall, exercise machines, an Olympic-sized pool, squash and racquetball courts, as well as a weight room. They have over 500 student organizations and offer 200 study abroad programs in 40 different countries. There is lots to do in Santa Barbara, or you can always just enjoy a relaxing day on the beach. Heading even further south, we run into UCLA, home of the Bruins. UCLA has a brick and ivy facade which gives the campus a very collegiate feel. It is located in the heart of Westwood with lots of upscale housing and dining options close by. There is a very active spirit section for their athletic community with the prestige of a top tier research university. It is the largest student population in the UC system on the smallest physical campus by acreage. UCLA alumni have received awards ranging from Oscars, Emmys, Tonys, Golden Globes, Rhodes Scholars, Nobel Laureates, and Pulitzer Prize winners. UCLA is ranked 12th in the World University Rankings for 2013-14 school year. For fall 2014, UCLA had over 86,400 applicants, with over 15,700 students accepted, for an admit rate of 18%. Just over 5,800 students enrolled for the freshman class. This includes students from nearly all 50 states and over 70 countries. One out of every three students were first-generation college students. The average GPAs were a 3.89 unweighted and a 4.39 weighted. The middle 50% of students received a 1920 to 2270 on the SAT. For fall 2015, UCLA will continue to enroll 4,100 California residents and will utilize their wait list to maximize freshman enrollment. If you're interested in finding out more about UCLA, check out their website. Now we're going to head east of LA to UC Riverside. Sitting at the base of Box Springs Mountain, UC Riverside has a park-like campus which provides convenient access to the Inland Empire. The campus is a living laboratory for critical issues such as energy, transportation, politics, and healthcare. UC Riverside has a very diverse population. In fact, it is the most diverse of the UC campuses and ranked 12th in the nation in diversity according to US News & World Report. UC Riverside just opened a new school of medicine in 2013. They have a four-year program leading into an MD and about half the seats in the medical program are reserved for students who have an undergraduate degree from UC Riverside. US News & World Report also ranked UCR as 35th on best value schools in the nation. They're also ranked fifth in the nation for contributing to the public good by Washington Monthly. 
UC Riverside had 36,000 applicants for fall 2014, which was a 3.7% increase. They were able to admit over 21,000 students for an admit rate of 58.3%. The average GPA was a 3.77 and average SAT was 1763. 47% of students are first generation college students and 39% are from low income families. UC Riverside is made up of three colleges, the College of Engineering, the College of Humanities, Arts, and Social Sciences, and the College of Natural and Agricultural Sciences. There are 65 undergraduate majors, and the most popular are Psychology and Business Administration. The UCR Library is famous for its world-class collection of science fiction. Every September, UCR hosts a block party on campus, which features live band and dance performances, interactive attractions, food and student organization booths. It's the biggest block party in town. Heading back over to the coast, we run into UC Irvine. Located in Orange County, five miles from the nearest beach and about 60 miles north of San Diego, the UC Irvine campus was designed to be a circle with an inner ring and an outer ring. The inner ring, which houses the undergraduate buildings, was intended to express the students' first years of study, and the outer ring, which houses graduate research, was intended to represent the wider circle of the world beyond. The UCI campus also has a 19-acre botanical garden in the center of campus. There is a medieval fair held in the park annually. UCI has the first multicultural center in the UC system. There are over 40 organizations associated with this cross-cultural center. UCI is the fastest growing UC campus with nearly 10% increase in applicants for fall 2014. The UCI Medical Center, Orange County's only university hospital, recently opened a world-class facility housing the latest technology and advancements in medicine. For the last three years, UCI has made the list of the top 10 coolest schools by Sierra Magazine for helping solve climate problems and making efforts towards sustainability. U.S. News & World Report ranks UCI's creative writing program as sixth in the nation. Times Higher Education recently ranked UCI as number one among universities in the U.S. under 50 years old. With 66,500 applicants, UCI was able to admit over 23,500 of them for an admit rate of 35.4%. Of those students, 73% are California residents. The average GPA is a 4.05 and the average SAT is 1867. 27% of students are from low-income families, while 40% are first-generation college students. There is a new Bachelor of Arts in Education Science and a new Bachelor's Degree in Exercise Science. At UCI, the undergraduate research opportunities abound, so go ahead and get involved. Become an anteater today. The last stop on our tour is the closest to home. Welcome to UC San Diego, home of the Tritons. UCSD is located near the beach with ocean views from various parts of campus. This is a large, sprawling campus with various medical centers on site and in the nearby community. There is lots of opportunity for research in the medical field. UCSD has the college system, with six unique colleges that all have different emphasis or focus on their style of learning. UCSD Associated Students hosts an annual Sun God Festival, which features a fair as well as multiple stages featuring art performances, DJ performances, and a mix of underground indie bands and mainstream groups. Nearly 50% of all undergraduate degrees from UC San Diego are in the social sciences. U.S. News & World Report ranks UCSD among the nation's top 10 public universities. But more importantly, UCSD is ranked by the website Surfline as the number one campus in the nation for surfing, and UCSD is ranked sixth in the nation for the happiest freshman by CBS News. Over 73,400 students applied to UCSD and 33% of them were admitted. The average GPA was a 4.13 and average SAT scores were 2017. 30 was the average ACT score. There is a new major next year called Global Health Programs, which provides a service-oriented style of education. If you're applying to UCSD, make sure you check out the six different colleges to determine which one is the right one for you. Thank you again for taking this tour of the colleges in the University of California system. We hope you have learned more about each campus and found out some new and surprising information about some campuses that you didn't know. There are many great opportunities out there, so please go explore.